So what's good with you, Scorpio? This could resonate for your sun, moon, rising, or Venus. It's also timeless, so take what resonates, leave what doesn't. And this may not resonate for every Scorpio. So let's get into the message. Okay, Scorpios, I can see that you've taken the first step towards something in your recent path, past. Um, this step you've taken, number one, is to gain knowledge about something. Okay, now this knowledge that you've been gathering. Okay. You may have been like, you may have had people try to tell you like what you want to do or the path that you want to take is, you know, not for you or not the best bet, but okay. You had to learn something. You had to educate yourself on something. You may even still be doing that right now because at the current energy, you've got the gates of triumph in your present energy with the yarn. So this is telling me that you will have a lot of future gains. From whatever you've been studying or educating yourself on okay you there's a new doorway opening up for you guys okay this gates of triumph means that you are going to triumph once you walk down this pathway okay so i don't know if you guys have been at school or if you've been self-educating but this you know that this door opening up for you is going to expand a lot of success in your life, okay? Now, there may be a lot of different components to what you're learning. So it may be quite complex. It may be quite complicated. Um, but at the same time, it's all interconnected, right? So it could be a bit of a mess in your head. And I would, I would give the best advice I would give to you guys is to manage your mental energy well at this time, which means if you're absorbing a lot of information, make sure that you're also having a mental output in a safe place. So that means journaling. Um, that could mean making vlogs, you know, videos of yourself talking to yourself, right? Just to document your thoughts somewhere in a safe place at this time, because your head could have a lot going on inside of there and you don't want to malfunction. You know what I mean? And that's actually hilarious because we got grounding in the future energy. So you guys are not only getting just downloads and downloads, but you're also absorbing information right now. So it's very important that you do ground yourself in the near future. Okay, this is what your guides want you to know. Because, yeah, that's how you, um, especially if you're getting high vibrational downloads, you guys, your ears could be ringing. Um, you know, you've got to anchor in that energy by putting your feet on the earth, right? Spending time sitting next to a tree, read a book, get in the sun. Okay, that's also good, good energy management It's good for your soul. It's good for your heart um, to be out in nature, right? And this is about how we keep ourselves in balance. Now, you need to prepare, Scorpio, because you are getting ready for brand new horizons now some of you are about to step into the motherfucking public eye okay some of you you take what resonates here gang some of you are about to make a big shift a big you're about to go into a big turning point in your journey right the the, the choices that you're making with your free will right now are going to are going to turn your life around okay they're going to turn your life around now some of you may have to do something in the public eye to do this okay um and on top of that i feel like there's some of you that are also you have a soulmate coming in i'm hearing some of you may already have a soulmate all right um but you have a soulmate or a best friend or someone that's gonna love you unconditionally right for some of you this could be your audience loving you unconditionally if you do have a platform right this could be some kind of expansion if you do have a platform expansion that you're manifesting okay i really feel like you guys have a lot of abundance coming toward you um but you you've got to remember to ground yourselves okay so let's see what the tarot has to say yeah i'm getting something very strong coming through about a soulmate connection here in this reading all right so we've got the lovers and the soulmate card okay um there's sagittarius capricorn and taurus energy out here as well so yeah this some of you you got this beautiful connection coming in with like or the path you're taking it's leading you to like infinite love okay now some of you are gonna need to be brave some of you may not have to get into the public eye to do what you want to do okay but you're still gonna have to be brave you're still gonna have to have a strong fucking opinion okay and this is why you could be educating yourself 
on whatever it is you're passionate about, you are still going to have to speak up. You are going to have to make yourself known. You're going to, so I'm hearing like you're making a name for yourself. Okay, you're going to have to communicate. Some of you may have to publicly speak. Some of you, this could be some fears that you're going to overcome. Okay, but your opinion and speaking up for yourself is going to be very important in the future and in this new direction that you're going in. Okay, I see that you want to follow your intuition at this time. You want to follow what your, what your first eye is guiding you toward. Okay. And yes, to keep that psychic energy grounded, you must keep, you must continue to ground yourselves in the future. So yeah, this is just a reminder, right? You know, to not, yeah, I got this vibe. Like some of you got these people spying or monitoring you, all right? Especially if you have a platform, all right? Or you could just have people around you that like they just breathing down your neck or want to know what you're doing. You know what I mean? Okay, so be mindful of like, you know, spying, monitoring spirits around you, especially if you are about to get into the public eye, because, yeah, you know, you don't want like, you know, people that are going to be sending in negative energy, that's just going to cause more hassles and problems when you've got some shit to work out here. Okay, you've got like a plan to execute, you've got some action to take. And on top of that, you got some of you have this soulmate connection in your life. Okay, this is the lovers is also about choices. Okay, and this is like you are making a big, big fucking choice. My God, my God, my angels, my goddesses, my gods, the dragons, the fae, the ascended masters gang. This is you like you guys. You need to know that you deserve what is coming for you. Okay, so you don't be afraid. Right. Okay, it's getting it's giving like. Right. The reason people are only luckier than you or anything in this world is because of a different subconscious programming that they have. Right. So I want to say to you guys, you are making some very bold moves right now when it comes to your life purpose and your soul's contract on this planet. All right. But you need to um, if it would benefit you guys to, um, you know, maybe listen to some affirmations about releasing negative beliefs around money, okay, because you guys, it's like you have such a fucking large sum of money coming towards you, some of you may be getting a loan to invest into something, some of you could be giving, giving this, having this money gifted to you, right, however it's coming, it's coming in, but you have to follow your intuition toward it, and a part of following your intuition, Metatron is saying, you know, you need to release limiting beliefs around money and receiving lo large sums of money or something like that or manifesting large sums of money okay because something about like your truth <sighs> something about your truth is going to manifest you a huge amount of money and your intuition is guiding you toward it right now so like what I'm saying is some of you may need to be very assertive in how you're speaking and showing up in the near future okay you have absolute clarity about something in your about what you want right now okay you know that you're walking through a new doorway um you may even be called to move a bit secretly right now okay some of you could be this could have something to do with a book that you're writing reading right um some kind of documents you're putting together some kind of information you're putting together right you could be reading books you're learning Okay, you are learning and because you are learning, you have truth and you have listened to your higher self. So let's see what's coming in. That's going to be a blessing in disguise for you guys. Okay, because you're going to have to get used to the fact that, you know, this future that you want to step into this, this pathway you want to step into, it comes with a lot of abundance, right? And as within, so without. So you must change within yourself to align with the timeline that you want to be in here right? You're already aligned with it. It's just like a little bit of unraveling would go a long way. Okay. So, you know, you can use all sorts of manifestation techniques. You know, I recommend three, six, nine or visualization or mind mapping, which I'm going to be talking about on the channel soon. But, um, you know, there's a lot of things you can do to reprogram your mind, you know, listening to affirmations while you're falling asleep only for about an hour or two don't listen to the eight hour ones because that's just not good um for your brain so this is the blessing in disguise that's coming okay some of you may be called to basically ghost ghost people you may be called to just go into your mind palace and and fucking disappear or something okay because 
you're kind of going to be called to anchor in some kind of information, um, explore your roots, explore your opinion about something, you know, um, it's like almost, you know, when you got to read all this stuff at school and then you got to write an essay about it, like that's the vibe, okay, the hermit is out here, so yeah, you will, you guys will be putting yourself first and guess what, this is going to leave whoever these monitoring spirits are around you, it's going to leave them very confused um, or a bit distressed, okay, very hurt for some of you like people could actually be getting fucking offended because you're pulling your energy back but guess what that's a them problem that's not a you problem all right you are almost like you are jumping timelines here that, that's what i see so if you feel like you want to spend time alone by all means spend that time alone okay you know it doesn't mean that you're not a deep person or you're not a person that has empathy and feelings it just means that you're following your intuition right and what you're being called to do is is to take action in a very brave way or to do something you've never done before so let me know if this resonates remember to like and subscribe and i'll see you in my next one